What if I were to say to you, an Irish pirate queen met Queen Elizabeth I in her abode in London, but never bowed to her? Would you believe me? Oh yes, Grace O'Malley, Grania Niwalia, Ireland's pirate queen, chieftain, politician, seafaring privateer. She was a warrior woman, a woman that bore a son on a ship while being attacked. A woman in the late 16th century that led armies of men across the seas and on the land during rebellions, wars and defense. This was a very peculiar time in Ireland because Queen Elizabeth was gaining much ground on the land of Ireland. Grace O'Malley fought hard for her family's legacy, for her own legacy and also for her business. Privateers, pirates, seafaring activities, overseas traders, all of this blurred lines at the time. Some would say they were pirates with papers. But in reality, the O'Malley clan, that was a very powerful one for 300 years in West Ireland, in Connacht, around Mayo, Westport, where there is a statue of her today, there was a row of castles on the shoreline and everybody that fished those waters was taxed. It didn't matter where you were from, English, Irish, Spanish, Turkish, whatever, Algerian even. Grace O'Malley lived her life on the edge, being arrested by the Earl of Desmond because of pirating activities down in Munster, being involved in rebellions against Bingham, a governor of Connacht, nine years war with Hugh O'Donnell. When she met Queen Elizabeth in her court, Apparently, she was carrying a dagger for her own safety. Much of her life is mythologized because of the fact that Irish historians have really forgotten about her. And some would question if it was a male, maybe she wouldn't have been forgotten, but some would just say that it's down to the fact that she did work with the English, strategically keeping her family in power. Grace O'Malley was a very astute woman, marrying very well. Her first husband, Donald O'Flaherty, died tragically in a battle, but he had lots of ships which O'Malley took into her own fleet. This is why the governor of Connacht was getting worried about Grace O'Malley. Even one of his subordinates ended up killing one of Grace O'Malley's sons. Grace O'Malley, of course, retaliated and would have petitioned to Elizabeth about this as well. And we have someone that is thinking long-term about her sons, her family. And this meeting between her and Elizabeth is very interesting, but also two women that were fiercely powerful, fiercely contested. Elizabeth and asked many, many questions of Grace O'Malley, which Grace O'Malley answered. A lot of Irish historians depart from Grace O'Malley as some kind of folk hero because of the cooperation that she showed with Elizabeth. Grace O'Malley was foreseeing the realities of Ireland and what was happening there, and she wanted to make sure that her family would live on. Grace O'Malley was a freak of nature, she was something that we've rarely seen in Ireland, in men and women, and she is someone that we should respect, we should study, and we should research and try to find out the clearer pictures about, because it's a very fascinating story, a very fascinating lady, a very fascinating leader. Grace O'Malley, Ireland's pirate queen, who never bowed to Queen Elizabeth.